Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. So this would be a continuation video of our forms of the equation of the line. And this would be the second one known as the point slope form. Okay. So this one you will be given from the name of the form itself. You will be given one point and one slope. And if you will notice guys that this, um, this is our formula by the way. Okay. This formula is actually similar to the um, two-point form in a sense that the slope is just simply already given. Okay, because if you would notice in the two-point form, the y minus y sub 1 is equals to yeah, this one. I'm just going to write it down fast. Okay, this part here, this part here is actually equals to the formula of the slope being y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 over minus x sub 1. So what happened here is this part here is just simply replaced by m. You will notice here in our point slope form formula. So it's actually quite, it's, it's easier to solve this one because you will immediately go to the second, uh, second or third step in solving um, using the two point form. Okay, so going back, let's, I'm just going to undo these things. Okay, so now let's proceed immediately to our example. Okay, so again, in this case, you will be given one point, say we have 2 and 3, and one slope, say we have 1, 4. Okay, so you will be immediately be given this, and the only thing you need to do is substitute first. Uh, being y minus 3 and equals to m is our 1 fourth, and our x is x sub 1, which is, uh, our x sub 1 is just simply 2. Okay, so you will notice here we already immediate, uh, we already skipped the first or second step in our um, two-point form. So what we just need to do here is eliminate the fraction. And how do we eliminate the fraction again? The denominator. We just simply need to. We just simply need to multiply this thing, the denominator, to all the terms on the right. Uh, I mean, yeah, on the left side. I mean. Okay, so you need to multiply it to y and you need to multiply it to 3, okay? So multiplying this 4 will give us 4y. 4 times 3 is negative 12. We have 1 times x minus 2, okay? So having this, again, we need to um, eliminate the multiplication on the right side, giving us 4y minus 12 is equals to 1 times any number is equals to itself. And finally, express our given in the standard form being ax plus by is equals to c. Transpose everything, all the things that you need to transpose. Um, we have negative x. Sorry, let me just undo this one. We have negative x plus 4y is equals to negative 2 plus 12 because our 12 will change its sign because it would go from one side of the equation to the other and you will notice na inyo na agad i immediately made x the first term so this is negative x so um evaluating the operation on the right side it will give us positive 10 and again it's much nicer to look at x if it is positive so we change the sign of x, but we need to ch change the sign of everything. So we will have our equation of the line. With, let me just write this down. So baba para the y is blocking it. Change the sign of x and change the sign of everything. Okay. So this would now be your equation of the line. Okay. And just simply again, if you would be... If I would be asking you for your answers, always box your final answer. Okay? So now we have our equation of the line. It's a quite easy actually. So it's very direct na. Okay? No more, um, there's not much substitution unlike the two point form. And it, it becomes easier actually. Okay? It becomes easier as we go through. This is the second hardest one. So let's proceed to the next example. Um, what if our given is 2, 2, I mean, wrong color, our given is 2 and negative 2, 
and our slope is simply negative 2 as well. So, easier, mas madali siya, our formula would be y minus y sub 1 equals to m x minus x sub 1. Okay, substituting them, um, we will have y minus negative 2 okay, equals to m is negative 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so, you'll notice here, naglagay akong parenthesis because there's a negative sign. Since in this one, there's no negative sign here, I just uh, place it as is. This one may negative, so I place the parenthesis. y minus negative 2 would give us y plus 2 equals 2. Since there is no more denominator here, we can immediately proceed to the distributive part. So, this is negative 2 times negative x. So, it's negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 would give us positive 4, transpose everything on the other side, I mean all variables on the other side and all on the left side and all constants on the right side, giving us 2x plus y is equals to 4 minus 2 for a while, okay, and giving us finally 2x, just bring it down a little because we are already done, giving us 2x plus y is equals to 4 minus 2 po. The answer is simply 2. And again, you check, is x positive? If yes, then therefore, this is your equation of the line. So, it's easier, right? Kasi substitution lang and evaluation ng onte. Okay? And this evaluation that I am doing is not something new to you. Kasi we have already discussed multiplication okay, of um, variables and also we have discussed... Uh, Integers, very basic. And we will have another example. We'll have four examples for today. So, for this video, I mean. So, we have negative 4 and 1. And our slope is just simply... Um, let's, let's, let me guess. Maybe let's have... Not 1 half. Let's have 9 over 4. Okay, negative 9 over 4. Okay, so having this, so yan, may negative na, so still the substitution will not change. y minus 1 equals to negative 9 over 4, okay, negative 9 over 4 times x minus negative 4, okay? So now, on this case, if you would have any negative sign on the slope, please give the negative to the numerator. Again, please give the negative to the numerator. Okay, so 4, when we give 4 to the other side, it would be considered as positive. Okay, so having that, so we have positive 4 times y and positive 4 times negative 1 will give us 4y minus 4 is equals to negative 9 times x plus 4. Bakit siya? Why is it plus 4 now? Because of course, um, Negative, right? Diba negative yan? Double negative. In this case, in this part pala. So, it becomes positive. Okay? Now, we eliminate the multiplication. 4y minus 4 is equals to negative 9 times x is negative 9x. And negative 9 times positive, positive 4 would give us negative 36. Actually, I'm not confident with my answer. Is it, is it 36? Yeah, it is 36. Okay? And lastly, transpose every variable on the right side and all the constants on the, I mean, mali. transpose all the variables on the left side and all the constants on the right side, giving us, again, x will always be first, for, um, 9x plus 4y is equals to negative 36 plus 4. Because 4 is transposed, it becomes positive. And finally, evaluating our given Negative 36 plus 4 will give us negative 32. And again, if your uh, if your x is already positive and everything else checks out, then this would be your equation of the line. And always box your final answer. Okay? So, next one. And our last example for today, say we have negative 4 and negative, sorry, let me write that properly, and negative 2, and our slope is 0, yeah, 
But uh, for undefined, wala na po yun ah. But we will just have 0, okay? So again, we have our equation of y minus negative 2 equals to 0, kasi yun yung ating slope, times x minus negative 4. Okay? So now, let's, have, let's change the signs first. y plus 2, and we have 0 times x plus 4. Now, if I may ask you, what would be the answer if you multiplied 0 by any number? Say, 0 times times 4. The answer is, of course, 0. 0 times negative 3, the answer would be 0. So, meaning, any number multiplied to 0 would become 0 as well. So, in this case, even if I, do, if I distribute this or not, since it's just outside, if it if it is um if it has a parenthesis here and zero will be given to everything, everything will be zero as well. So it's futile. Sa yung oras, okay? So just simply eliminate everything or cancel out everything, leaving us since ev uh, since the denotation for nothing or nothing in this case is zero, so we leave it as zero, leaving us with y plus two is equals to zero. And then again, we still need to follow the rules, or I mean the standard form, that all variables must be on the left side and all constants must be on the right side, leaving us with y is equals to negative 2. And again, if everything is positive, since there is no x, and everything checks out, this would be your equation of the line. And finally, Box always your final answer. Okay? So, that would be all for today. If you would have any other questions or meron ka, medyo nalito kayo, you can always go back to our video, watch it over again, or you can chat me in our chat box, I, I mean, chat group, if you, if you would want to ask any personal questions. And, thank you again everyone for listening, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.